Today's demonstration is to show you how to set up a 32 unit production cell that will allow one person to uh, essentially wipe 32 units at once and um, have the capability to be able to wipe up to 64 units if uh, you have the space available to be able to do this. Uh, today we're using about 100 square feet uh, per cell on this and now we'll go around to the back to be able to show you how we hook up these units. Now we're going to show you how to set up the systems uh, once you get them loaded onto the into the cell over here. Um, generally what we try to do is build uh, wire harnesses that consist of the network cables, our USB SIP cables, and then our power cables over here for just for the ease of, of loading. We've got our tables marked so that the technician understands how the configuration should go as we put them on here. One always being at the bottom, four being at the top, and so on, five at the bottom, eight at the top, and so on. So if you go through and make it easy, easier, you can label your cables, and we've got number four right here. These will always go in the same direction this way if you're always keeping consistency on these. Put in your power, network, and your SIP cable. And that's all it takes to be able to hook up for this. And then you can see down through the end here that we've got all 16 on this side of the production cell hooked up in that same fashion. Monitor hooked up to be able to allow us to visually transfer from one system to the next. It would allow us to hook up to upwards to 250 systems at once via the KVMs that as many as we want to hook up, we can continue to do that. Right now, what I'm going to do is just turn this on. We're on the third system right here. We'll be able to hit our F2 to go into the setup. And when we get in here, we want to go down and select our network devices that is in here. And depending on which manufacturer you're using, well, there'll be different setup to be able to get in here to do this. So right now, I'm going to select this uh, on with PXE. We're selecting that, escaping, save that, and then we reboot with F12 to be able to go into the boot sequence and understand how we're going to start. Go down here to the onboard network controller, select that, and we're off. What we generally wait for right here is just to see that there's an actual link to the Pixie server right here. Once we see that the link is established by this fast moving asterisk, we're ready to move on to the next one. So we can go down to the next system, pick this up, and we start up, do the same process all over again. So we're spending about 45 seconds to a minute to be able to boot up the system uh, depending on uh, what sequences you need to go into. And you're in secure rest.